this popular influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. Did he get arrested? I believe he going I believe he's coming in September. Cause you gotta realize the grand jury intervened. They may have 45 days, 60 days, 90 days. They never usually go past 120 days. They got enough information and they probably got enough stuff that he's probably willing to plea bargain or see if they're going to give him that or if they're going to let him plead or something. But I don't think the grand jury is going past 120 days. And this is inside information you're getting, right? Or this is something you believe personally? Well, I believe that personally. And then for the fact of the matter is that I know somebody who testified to the grand jury to the uh, Homeland Security. And they probably, they was made reference to some like, uh, they thought that they was gonna, they couldn't go nowhere around in September, or whatever like that. So maybe around in September, something to happen. Well, that's what they waiting on. That's why all these documentaries and these people are waiting on. They waiting on him to get arrested. They waiting on the grand jury to say, we find him guilty, we indict him and in the whole nine yards. And watch how many documentaries and how many uh, uh, YouTubers and everybody gonna talk about it and everything like that. This comes after a grand jury indictment. A source told CNN that Combs was arrested again tonight in a Manhattan hotel and is now being processed by police. Of course, this all comes after Combs became the target of a months long sex trafficking probe by the Homeland Security uh, Investigations Agency uh, after his homes were raided, you'll recall, in Miami and Los Angeles. We don't know the specific charges that are, are, are tied to this arrest tonight in New York. We did get a statement from an attorney for Diddy Combs who said that they are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. But they say Diddy, Sean Diddy Combs is cooperating with the investigation. His lawyer points out that Diddy actually went to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. So again, the breaking news tonight, Diddy reportedly arrested in a hotel in Manhattan. The specific charges not clear, uh, but it appears to be part of this ongoing investigation. As we get more details, we'll bring them to you here on Local News Live. For Let's talk Diddy, because um, U.S. Attorney apparently through, you know, New York Times and then also the Rolling, uh, Rolling Stone magazine confirming that. And it seems with the, I don't know if you heard the Mark Agnifilo uh, defense lawyer statement sure sounded like he's confirming that that Diddy's been arrested. But uh, your your initial thoughts upon hearing this tonight? I just thought it was always a matter of time, Ashley. When the feds raid your place, and that was more of a raid than what happened at Mar-a-Lago, which was just a a polite search. When they come guns a blazing and they find people who have illegal guns on them, you know someone's going to get charged. I mean, the easiest charges are federal firearms charges, but then there are the possibility of human trafficking charges sexual assault charges and you know the video that came out with him attacking uh, the woman on the on the camera i mean look people lie but videos don't that was so shocking and even though she had reached a civil agreement a settlement with him that doesn't stop prosecutors from moving ahead with a prosecution on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. And on the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this 
afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates. And as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody were, were inside that home at the time of the raid. We did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there, and clearing that as well. So they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen, and we have not seen from our vantage point, any sign of Sean Combs, the 54-year-old who is believed to be the property owner of this. Let me ask you this. So say Diddy gets convicted for whatever charge they end up bringing up on him, right? And Diddy goes into the penitentiary system, right? What happens to Diddy? Oh, uh, Rodney. Okay. So, man, it, it, <laughs> man, listen, homie. All that shit about, yeah, man, nigga go down there. Man, listen, nigga go down there with a bunch of money. It's just like in the, it's just like out here. Go down there with a bunch of money in this era. Broke in the penitentiary. Got no money. Them want to grab on to something that got money. Shit, nigga, you ain't got to worry about nothing. I got you. You know how many niggas that going to be doing that? Do you know how many organizations they're going to be trying to tell P. Diddy? We got to just take care of or the organization and take care of my people, my nigga. Do you know how many people that's gonna be doing that? Right. So what is he gonna would he live like a king? They gonna live like a king like a motherfucker. He gonna be a big dog in that bitch. Come on, man. I all that shit. Yo, yeah, man, when you go to prison, this shit gonna happen to him. Boy, sit down somewhere. Your homeboy's in the penitentiary right now playing with boys. And you ain't done a motherfucking thing. Stop playing, man. He kill me with them stories. You know what I'm saying? Come on, homie. I'll just keep it one thigh, y'all, so, man. So say if he was convicted for something like, uh, you know, the sex trafficking, and it comes up just, you know, uh, that he's dealing with under girl, underage girls, is it he's still going to the penitentiary, and that's it'll still be him living like a king? Homie. Do you know how many real shit? I hit on Tupac and Suge Knight. Davis made these claims during a previous interview with Metro Police. Right now, Davis is fighting for bail ahead of his murder trial. He has pled not guilty. A judge is expected to rule soon on his bail. Davis's trial is set to start November 4th. A Michigan inmate, Derek Lee Cardello Smith, has been awarded a staggering $100 million default judgment against Sean Diddy Combs. This ruling came from Lenawee County Circuit Court Judge Anna Marie Anzalone after Cardello Smith obtained a temporary restraining order against Combs in August, claiming he drugged and sexually assaulted him in 1997. Cardello Smith, who is serving time in the Ernest C. Brooks Correctional Facility, has a long history of civil lawsuits and claims to have evidence of Combs visiting him in prison. He rejected a $2.3 million settlement offer from Combs, stating, I disagree with how you get down, after Combs allegedly responded, you know how we get down, during a discussion about the lawsuit. This case is part of a growing number of allegations against Combs, with many people expressing skepticism about Cardello Smith's claims on social media, especially in light of past incidents involving Combs, such as the widely circulated hotel hallway footage with singer Cassie Ventura, 